team has made a fundamentally contradictory position. First, that there will be no war and no unrest, and that this is just because countries desire to close their borders. Second, that the World Health Organization must intervene because countries don't close their borders and do not want to close their borders. This fundamental contradiction shows the ways in which they do not under understand that these decisions do not have to be made by the World Health Organization. Any reason they have given you why the World Health Organization is good is not a reason why a country cannot solicit them to do it. By uh, forcing them to do this, it only risks the harms that we have aligned. They have set up these arguments as either the World Health Organization gets to control every other country or all of America gets Ebola. This kind of scare tactics is not the way that public policy is made and is a poor stand-in for a substantive argument. Perhaps these are doctors and perhaps Ebola is a health issue, but disease does not just happen as an act of God or random circumstance. These doctors are not good political scientists or economists. People get disease because they are more exposed to it, because they do not have access to basic health care, food, sanitation. These are all issues of political, uh, these are all political and economic issues that spread disease. If people had all the resources available to them, then they would do their best not to get this disease. Meaning that it is important to look at the ways in which violations of sovereignty interact with economics and political issues in that country. Sovereignty is not an issue of morality. This argument is basic economics. They have failed to address it. And I think it's very important because it's the way that the world works. Economics has a huge impact on health. The argument is that when flights and land travel are limited, when they are policed, when you have to go through paperwork, when there is additional fear, this adds costs to the importation of food. This cost is transferred to the consumer. Food prices go up. When food prices go up, disposable income disappears. All other non-essential goods and services have dried up in Liberia. Uh, when there is no food available that people can buy on the market, people stop trusting the government to protect their interests. They blame the government for the spike in food prices, and they will blame the World Health Organization. This mistrust strengthens radical factions who then work to overthrow the government. You might believe that the World Health Organization is great at stopping a health crisis, but they will not put their health workers into a civil war, nor is that their area of expertise. This is happening now. Think of this. We are the only ones giving you something more than abstract hypotheticals. We are telling you what has and does happen when we close borders, i.e. the Ministry of Health. People attempt to burn it down. Rebel group groups block ambulances. Health workers are killed off. What this really means is that despite the fact they are attempting to stop the spread of the disease, they will actually spread it more. Nothing spreads disease more than the chaos of war. By the way, the way that we close our borders is the way we always fail to close our borders. By that I mean they are not addressing our argument about the limited amount of resources that trade off with the militarization of the border. Their only argument for controlling borders is to literally line up soldiers and play Red Rover while struggling families <laughs> attempt to cross the border to safety. I wouldn't underestimate the will of a certain people to survive even if they are poor. What this amounts to is not even if they win that there are limited, that, that migration is limited, they have not won the argument that those resources are infinite, that we have infinite resources for stopping a civil war, for patrolling the border, and for getting people basic access to doctors and health care. In this way, even if you think the World Health Organization is good, the external imposition on a nation's sovereignty is not a moral issue, but a practical one that further spreads Ebola. What am I at the time? Seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Uh...